This video will basically be a rant about the weather. I'm just warning you. This is a big topic. A big topic. Okay? Let's do this thing. Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and this is Alyssa Explains It All, where I talk about SUNY Asabigo and in college in general. For this episode, I'm going to pertain mostly to SUNY Asabigo. It could go with other SUNY schools that are up here in the north part of New York. North part of New York? Yeah. North part of New York. So, that's okay if you are listening and you don't go here. When you're choosing a college, you are looking at the, the college life, you're looking at the different clubs, the different classes, the different majors, so the people who go here, the dorms, the, the college life, the environment that it produces for you. But there's something that no one really looks at, which is very important when you're choosing SUNY as we go, and that is the weather. We have this beautiful lake, which is one of those things that we all love. It has a beautiful sunset, it's a beautiful view. I like going down to it, I like skipping rocks and watching the seagulls and doing my homework in the nice sunshine and relax. But there's something about it that I hate so much, and that's the lake effect. What happens is, is that this huge gust of wind comes off the lake and hits you while you're walking out of your dorm room, when you're walking to class, when you go to work, when you want to go to the dining hall but it's not downstairs in a tunnel. And I hate it so much that I just don't want to leave my dorm room ever and I want to stay in my cuddly blankets and drink hot chocolate and watch movies on Netflix. That's all I want to do, but according to my schedule that doesn't happen all the time. So you have to go out in the rain and snow and wind at some point in your lifetime. This is what you need to consider about Oswego is that there is going to be snow and it's going to be snowing when you're walking to class or when you're walking to work and you leave your dorm room. It's going to happen and it's going to be crazy. You're going to be all bundled up head to toe in like 50 different layers with scarves and hats. You won't be able to see anything. Remember to always be aware of the weather. Even when it's raining it's like freaking windy out. It's hitting you in the face. You need like windshield wipers to walk to class. It's crazy. You could definitely tell who lives in the northern central New York area when it starts getting cold out. Right now it's only like 57 degrees. Some people are wearing coats and boots. Some people were wearing hats already, and those are the people that are from Long Island and downstate New York who don't really understand how cold is cold. You don't know cold until you've experienced negative three degrees when you're walking to class and it's snowing. And half of the parking lot has snow and the other half doesn't. And you're just like, what is happening right now? Why? Remember kids, Ugg boots are not snow boots. Do not wear them out. They will get wet. Even if you had the waterproof spray on them, something will happen. And you do not want your Ugg boots to get ruined, so don't do that. You'll be laughed at too. I was laughed at last year because I wore Ugg boots on one occasion when it was snowing. They're not snow boots. Get over it. Be buy a pair of snow boots. Even if you never wear them or you never need them, keep them in your dorm room underneath your bed in the back. When you think about packing, pack all your winter stuff. And then when you think about like coming back up here, bring all your winter stuff. So like I bring home all my summer stuff and like my shorts and my tank tops and stuff like that. I bring that all home during Thanksgiving and then I t bring back some more winter stuff if I really don't have a lot, but apparently I do. Look at that. It's a closet full of clothes. Yeah, I got sweatshirts and stuff. I'm all good for the winter. It's like storing up nuts. I'm a squirrel. Squirrel with clothes. This was just a warning video. Warning. Weather advisory expected for the next four months. You're awesome, I'm awesome, and thank you for watching this video. And if you want to, you can subscribe to find out when I post more Alyssa Explains It Alls. I'm gonna, you know, I do this regularly. And if you have a video idea, please leave a comment below or message me on Twitter. Tweet me there, and I'll see you, I'll see you guys. All right? Be mindful of the weather. This is something that you need to choose. Will you go for the cold, or will you stay for the warmth? Go to the day. Yay. Bye. Why? I liked that. That was good. I'm extremely tired. I just came back from class, and I've had a very long day. I had tests and stuff. I'm doing this for you. It's all for you. Enjoy it.